You are listening to the Five Squared Podcast, the podcast where we bring you tips for your business and your life. Our goal is to leave you smarter with ideas, wisdom, tools, and entertained. The Five Squared Podcast is produced weekly for your enrichment. Come back often and feel free to add the podcast to your favorite RSS feed or iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter at Five Squared and Facebook. All the links are in the show notes. Now let's get started with your host, business consultant, executive coach, and founder of Five Squared, Tim Fives. All right, and we're back with Tim Fives, your host of the Five Squared Podcast. So good to be back. We've had a technical issues, and we're 100% back in business. And today we have... Trish Zeltwinger and Vincent Brady with us today from Penmar. So welcome, everybody. Hope everyone is uh, dry and uh, enjoying this warm, wet weather we're having. So Trish, why don't you tell us why we're here today? Well, thanks for having us, Tim. Um, actually, I'm a career counselor for Penmar, and um, I have Vince Brady here today. He is a job seeker looking for community-based employment. Um, so we kind of want to spread the word out there that he's available um, and very interested in working in our community. Well, fantastic. Uh, what types of things, Vincent? Welcome to the Five Squared Podcast. Glad to have you here. So what are some of the things you love to do? Got any hobbies, things like that that you like? Um, bing, bingo. Um, maybe a walking day game on, the, um, on my tablet. Oh, awesome, walking dead. Now, we you told me before we when we were getting prepped here that you really like horror movies and yeah, things like yeah. that. Is a uh, Walking Dead's your favorite horror movie? Mm-hmm. Got any other ones that you really love? No, just that. Just that. All right. Well, that's a good one. If you got to have one, that's it. I'm a big fan of that. So, Trish, why don't you tell us about how you do some of the assessments and you know what, what, uh, how you establish what they'd be good at at doing, like Vincent and um... sure. Well, Vince is really super excited um, about being. Um employed in our community. And, and one of the areas that he's interested in finding employment is actually working in a pet care of some sort. So um, for an assessment for Vince, we actually took him to um, a local pet store in his local area and we partnered with them. They allowed us to come in and to actually help facilitate taking care of um, some of the animals that were there, specifically the cats. Um, so he went in and cleaned out their pens and their and their litter pans. Um, and he was... Um, caring for them by petting them and getting them out and kind of socializing the pets. Oh, that's great. So. And, and Vincent, you, t- you told us earlier you have uh, a couple of pets, right? Yeah. So how many, what do you have? Two. Two cats? Yeah. Names? Duke and Elvis. Duke and Elvis. I love it. That's fantastic. Now, one of the things we were talking about earlier, too, was the uh, some of the goals that you have that you'd like to do as you get employed and get some get some finance finances rolling in and you'd like to do a little bit of traveling and where where, where do you really want to go? Um Tennessee, Grayson, um Vegas. Tennessee, I'm seeing a theme here, Graceland, Las <laughs> Vegas. And what's the wh- why do you want to go to those places? Um T Elvis. C Elvis. That's <laughs> why we all want to go to Vegas. I love it. And you can definitely see Elvis in Vegas. So so what do you love to do? Like, what's your ideal job for you, Vince? Work with animals. Work with animals. And any type of animals in particular? No. Dogs, cats, do you, do you like um, like uh, iguanas and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. I've worked with some. Oh, nice. We were just over at the pet store, uh, that big pet store in Lancaster, and uh, had a blast walking around seeing all the uh, the different iguanas and lizards and snakes and stuff that they had. I'm not, are, are, do you like snakes? I, I, I take good care of them too. Okay, good. Because I, I am <laughs> not I, me. <laughs> I do not like the snakes. You're, you're, that's a that's a special person that likes to likes to handle snakes and stuff. So, what are some of your other some of your past experience, Vincent, that you've had? Um, long time ago, I did the dishes, and then I did um, semi at the Pamar. What what was that? Assembly. Oh, yep. the assembly. Vince, Vince worked assembly work. Um, actually in two different locations, one and in a community-based employment and also in our um, workshop area that uh, we used to have um, okay. back in the past. And what kind of assembly were you doing? Tools. Tools. Oh, that's awesome. I love tools. Packaging, labeling. Yep. Oh, good. 
And what kind of environment do you want to be working in, Vincent? Um, in the morning. You want to be working in the mornings? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not a morning person, so congratulations <laughs> to you for being a morning person. And, uh, you know, loving animals, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, part of, part of what we try to do is, is find out what Vince is good at. And um, so one area we definitely know, because he has experience in the, um, in the past working um, in assembly, we uh, partnered again with uh, an employer in our community um, who actually does uh, sub-assembly work. So we took him there and um, actually put him to the test, oh, and, yeah. he, and he did very well. So um, that you know kind of seals the deal that he has a, a good, good aptitude for, for that type of work. Right, yeah. right. So he was good with that. And Vincent, when you're doing the assembly work, do you like? Do you enjoy it? Is yeah. it is it fun? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, mm-hmm. that's something that I can't do. Like that's, you know, I get really bored, you know, and I'm like, oh, look at that over there. I'm gonna go do that. Or, yeah. um, and, so, well, and Vince, Vince likes to work independent, so he likes to have his work area, um, an area that he he can call his own and um, be independent, um, and he he excels really well with that. And do you, do you enjoy the fact that you can get a lot of things done when you're doing the assembly work? Is that part of the part of the joy of that? Yeah. You can kind of see, it, hey, here's everything that I just got done, and okay. yeah. Because I sometimes I, I used to do do, uh, do that. I worked for a company when I was in high school called Amphenol, and we made like little uh, connectors for like gigabit uh, Ethernet cables. Right. And it was I always the, the only thing that I enjoyed was I could back up the rest of the line. Right. Like I would work so hard, be like, oh, I'm done. I'm gonna take a break. So uh, I don't know, Vincent, if that's something you enjoy doing is making a, making other giving making more work for other people. But uh, it's always I kind of make it a game, you know. Yeah, yeah. You like doing that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a prankster. So what other, you know, you want to travel, you want to do a little bit of traveling, you want to go to Graceland and and Vegas. What else do you want to do with your life? What are some of the things that you look forward to? I'm going back, I like going back to Disney World. Oh, Disney World. Yeah. Yeah. How long ago were you there? Last summer. Oh, last summer. Nice. Did you drive down to, to Disney World? Took an airplane. Did you? Oh, yeah. fantastic. That's the way to go. Most people I know drive down there, and that seems miserable to me. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm always like, do you, do you enjoy flying? Yeah. Good. And what was your favorite part about Disneyland? Um, she Mickey. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, my, my uh, I always think it's fun to interact with the uh, the characters there. They do a great job getting them, uh, getting them to interact. Sure. So. Yeah. So what other past jobs? You the other um, you worked. You told me you were, you worked at the mill. That's where you were doing the dishwashing. Yeah. And uh, the package parts and tools. That's so. What's your your favorite thing to do? Like your very favorite thing to do, whether it's working or just hanging out or, you know, home. Watching um, ghost story. Oh, all right. Now is that on? That's uh. I'm on TV. On TV is mm-hmm. that? I think that's on the A and E channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Not a clue. Yeah, you're, you, <laughs> I've tra- never heard. Trish, I've never seen them. Never watched these movies. I have never watched Vincent them. Vincent and I have a lot in common here. We <laughs> like a lot of the same things: Walking Dead, ghost movies, stories, and and things like that. I like the. Do you watch any of the alien stuff? Because I think that's pretty cool no. too. No, just your really just on the ghosts. That's fantastic. <laughs> I for sure. You now would. there's a note here about horror fest. What what can you tell me about that? Um, I got my save up for it. To go to now, where do they have horror fest? I want to know. You're not sure where? No. Yeah, I'm not sure where either. Yeah. I've been there like 31 times. Oh, so you've been there before. Mm-hmm. All right, so it's in the area. Yeah. Now, well, we'll find out where that is, and we're going to put that in the show notes because I might go to Horror Fest. Now, do you get dressed up or anything like that when you go? It's, no. So it's not like Comic-Con where people get all goried up and no. go in there. They show movies and stuff while you're there? Or? Um, people just like scary movies. Okay. Now, one of the other things, are you into uh, Halloween? Yeah. Is that like one of your favorite holidays? I'm gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna go on on a leap. Yeah. So you like the horror? What are they? The horror house? Uh, Scream. 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 That's it. Friday thirteen. Who'd you dress up last year with? Elvis. That's what I thought. Oh, you were. That was Elvis. I thought it was uh, the guy in Scream. All right. And so you, so you can be pretty flexible in your work. You want to do some manufacturing assembly type of work mm-hmm. um, or work in a dish room perhaps or something yeah. like, something like that. That'd be good. You yeah. want to work in the mornings? Yeah. Yep. A couple hours a day, a couple hours a week. Three days. Three, 
three, yeah. Three, 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 three or days. four days. Yeah. I okay. don't work on Saturday and Sunday. I don't work on Saturday and Sunday either, and I don't think anybody should. So I'm I'm all right with that. Uh, so any Trish, as we wrap up here, a lot of great, a lot of great information. Good. As we get in, uh, get this out to the. Vince wanted to say hello to his staff. Oh. Um. Tell um. Mark J. Hi and Neil, um, Trish and Lacey. Tell them hello. Hello. Well, we can give them a shout out, absolutely. So thanks for doing that. Very, very thoughtful. Trish, any 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 other comments for today? Um, no, I, I I think Vince would be a great asset to any business that would hire him. And through our program, we support the individual. So we would help Vince get acclimated into a into a an opportunity and. We would support him as well as the employer. Great, and when and is that? I know you and I have talked before. So for those of us that uh, are list, for those of you that are listening, you can always go back and listen to the other podcast with Trish where we had you on a, a couple months ago. Right. But g- just give us a little thing about how exactly you support them as they transition into an employer. Sure. Well, we would actually come with them on their on on their journey and um, go with them on the first day or however long it may take um, till they feel comfortable and the employer feels comfortable. Um, and then that they are, we show, or he, or that person shows that they're independent, um, and, um, and then we would fade out our services. But the nice thing is, is we make those good relationships with the employer. Um, you'll get to see us at least once a month, um, just to do a check-in, you know, maybe somebody wants to grow in a bit, you know, grow in their position. We would help facilitate that as well. Um, and, but yeah, it's that ongoing support. I think that makes a great successful yep. story. Fantastic. Well, you for everyone listening, you can get uh, in the show notes more about Penmar, more a little bit more about Vincent, and thank you both so much for coming in today. Oh, thanks, and Tim. Doing this. Thanks for having us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank you so much for listening to the show with your host Tim Fives. We hope you will pass along our web address, fivesquare.com, to your friends and colleagues. Be sure to check out our archive section on our website for previous podcasts. Follow us on Twitter at FiveSquared or follow us on Facebook. This has been a Five Square production. Join us next time for another edition of the Five Squared Podcast.